My name is Leslie Torlori, and I'm the President and CEO of Tapestry Health. And Tapestry Health is a health and human service organization that provides uh, life-saving and life-changing health services across Western Mass. In the Republican primary, um, every single one of the candidates um, began to focus on the issue of women's health. And I think um, a big part of that was um, because, sadly, women's health, and specifically the issue of abortion, and now it's actually moved into even something like birth control, where 98% of women, irregardless of whether they're Catholic or not, who are sexually active, use birth control at some point in their life. So the idea that now birth control is in play is concerning. But Title X um, was discussed at more than one of the Republican primaries. And I think part of the reason that occurred was that, especially those that want to limit the issue of choice for women, have sadly succeeded in limiting the issue of abortion and the fact that uh, with the federal government, there is really limited dollars now that will pay for abortions. Uh, with Title X, it's the last bastion of support for birth control. And I think that's why it was focused on as a wedge issue to um, enliven the base of the right wing of the Republican Party. But I hope that those women who are part of the party will see through this political um, charade and help us once again move birth control and even abortion back to public health where it should be, not on the front pages of the Congress. Tapestry Health is a nonprofit tax exempt organization. And what that means is that because we're tax exempt, we're not allowed to endorse any specific political candidates. But we really can care about issues and also referendum questions or just what the budget of the United States or Massachusetts encompasses. And um, it happens that the um, so-called almost presidential candidate for the Republicans, Mitt Romney, is now on record as saying that he would like to eliminate Title X, which is the only domestic support for family planning. The federal government should not tax these people to pay for Planned Parenthood. There are a lot of things, by the way, there, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of things, there, there are a lot of things that, uh, that, uh, uh, that, that we have in our society that we may like or that we may not like, uh, but that government shouldn't be paying for. We, we have to ask this. We're going to have to cut federal spending by a trillion dollars, a thousand billion dollars. All right? We're gonna, it'll be, we'll have to make cuts, and we're going to have to get growth of the economy. The two will, will close that gap of about a trillion dollars. And I'm going to cut from our federal spending some things you like and some things you're happy to get rid of. Easy things I'm going to cut, Obamacare. I'm getting rid of that. All right? And, and I will, and and uh, and the idea of the federal uh, the federal government funding Planned Parenthood, I'm going to say no. We're going to stop that. What Planned Parenthood is is a national organization that has local franchises, and there is a franchise in Western Mass, but it's only in Springfield, and they primarily provide a limited amount of birth control services and also have an important abortion facility. And those that come to tapestry sometimes need to avail themselves of different kinds of services. We make referrals for prenatal services, for abortion, for adoption. And so Planned Parenthood is, in fact, one of the places that we do refer clients when it's appropriate. And Obama has actually been quite supportive of Title X. So when we look at who will support family planning and who won't, We'll hope that people will make their choice based on that information. They've been trying to figure out how to take away preventive care that is covered under the Affordable Care Act. Instead of making life easier for women in this country, they want to let insurance companies go back to charging higher prices just because you're a woman. Instead of working to boost our economy, they're out there spending time trying to defund 
Planned Parenthood and prevent millions of women from getting basic health care that they desperately need. Pap smears and breast exams. Issue of the centrality of a woman controlling her fertility seems to me a central issue of freedom for women. And I'm really sorry now after 40 years that I've been working at Tapestry Health that an issue that we began with is one that is still front and center both for the politics of this election and even the health care of the women and couples in Western Mass.